this is at this is at Shintai Reviews. Why do you think why do you two think retro RPGs are so coveted? With a few exceptions, they're often the most expensive and difficult to find. I think RPGs are coveted for a, a, a few reasons. Um, one is that they weren't incredibly popular back in the day, so they didn't get as high of print runs, which makes them rare. So for collectors they're oftentimes grails simply because they're not as easy to find. Um, maybe not as rare as, you know, um, the rarest games, but they're usually in the middle in terms of commonality for, or uh, how common they are for older systems like the NES, especially the Super Nintendo. Uncommon game. Yeah, you look at something like Final Fantasies or, you know, any really of the RPGs, the, the Chrono Triggers and stuff, they're... they're they're always going to be at a certain price. They're always going to be in the middle. And, um, you know, so for collectors, they're popular for that reason. But even as RPGs got more popular into the PlayStation 1 era, the PS2 era, where they did start to get slightly higher print runs and re-releases and, like, greatest hits, um, you know, greatest hits releases on the PlayStation 1, PS2, I, I think they maintain value because people see them as a, a bang for your buck sort of game. They're, Are, they're replayable. They're replayable. Um, you know, there's always different ways you can build your characters, even if the story stays the same. But a lot of RPGs these days have multiple paths. Even even games back in the day did. Like Chrono Trigger's got a bunch of different endings. Um, and they're, they're generally long, even short ones at like 25 hours, you know, and longer ones at 100. These are just games that provide long-term value it's also the genre itself has gotten maybe more popular than when they, these games were first released yes that's yeah so, supply, so, so the, the the supply back then was fine the, the, you know earthbound the best point where they they made too many earthbounds versus the interest probably obviously they didn't market right but people that weren't interested but now they're a lot more interested in it yeah so they want to go back and buy it and the shoot surprise up to whatever i think it's down to like 170 bucks now but it was at 250 at one point right so um, yeah, that's and that happened with a lot of those games. When people rediscover, like Atlas as a company, you know, the, the PS1 releases, and they go back and discover all the Super Nintendo RPGs, or even some Genesis RPGs that I can't name because I don't know the Genesis library as well. But, you know, they <laughs> they go back and be like, oh, I didn't know about this game, but now I like the genre 20 years later. Let's go back and look at some of these hits that I might have passed out, you know, p passed on, and that a lot of people did. And I can say that's probably why the only reason why a lot of people like those Super Nintendo games in particular, the Super Nintendo RPGs, have just shot the hell up in the past, you know, five, six years. They weren't always that expensive. Right. It was just like, oh, now I want to play these games. And for some reason, the emulator doesn't really account for that. Yeah. So, you know, that's, that's, it is what it is. And Ian makes money at Luna because of that, because of your interest. <laughs> it goes into his pocket. No. 